Just here on University Avenue on Canada Day in Toronto. Um, they've installed some new bike lanes on University Avenue, so we're going to be going from Queen Street up to Bloor Street to check out the new bike lanes. So remember to check out my channel, subscribe to my other videos, check out my other biking videos from Toronto and other places such as, I can't remember, Norway. I don't remember where I went my, my, made my biking videos, but check them out on my channel. Okay, let's get started. I remember I made a, set, a biking video in Oslo, in Santo Domingo, in the Dominican Republic, in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Halifax. Nova Scotia and there's a couple more in Toronto so check those out on my channel. Okay the bike lane begins here on Adelaide. Just on the left there you see the Canada Life Tower. I did that in my Queen Street biking video so I'll insert some interior photos again for that one. 200 University. I worked here, I believe, in 1997 for about a year. There was a big drama and I quit. And I sat on those steps at the front after I quit. Because I gave them the middle finger. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there is the Canada Life building. It's a historical building. Once a year, you are allowed to go up the tower to the top. So I did go up one year and I'll insert some photos from there. There's Queen Street. So the right here behind the railings is Osgood Hall, so if you watch my Queen Street streetcar video, you'll see the inside of that as well. You can't see it with all the trees. That brown building, 400 University Avenue, was also a Zurich building. I worked there, I believe, in 1994 as a summer student. That building with the pride flag is the US Embassy. It's blocked off because there's usually protesters there. That's the Ontario Supreme Court just behind Osgood Hall. So that brown building next to the US Embassy is some historical society. They have an open house once a year and I attended so I will insert photos from there. It's either that one or a building further up but I'll insert photos from it as well. That historical facade at the bottom could be the historical society. I'm not sure which of the two buildings it was. Actually, yeah, I think it's this one. I see a cannon outside. So that is some historical society. I'll include pictures from the inside of that. And we're just heading out to Queen's Park Legislature. The northern end of University Avenue, there's just more hospitals as you reach Queen's Park, which is at the top of the street there. That's the Ontario Parliament. Just a map here. So we're just heading up University Avenue. It will go to Queen's Park, which is the legislature of Ontario. And to this side is the University of Toronto, so we'll do some biking there as well. And there's just another map. So University Avenue is actually the subway line running up to Queen's Park and then around to Bloor Street. Okay, that's the old Ontario Hydro building now. It's intact insurance. And we're just coming up to Queen's Park. Here is Queen's Park subway. There 
was supposed to be a big freedom protest, but I guess I timed it wrong. Maybe they're on their march and they'll come back in a bit. So just circling around Queen's Park, you have more government buildings and these are more historical architecture. But these are not open to the public unless you have to go there on whatever business. There's the side of Queen's Park again. And this is just a big circle that goes around the Parliament. You have these big grand homes which are now part of the university for different faculties. Yeah, this one says Toronto School of Theology. And there's some more of the architecture down there. It's covered by the trees. This is St. Michael's College. Let's get past the trees. in the circle now and it merges back into two-way traffic up to Bloor Street. On the left there you just see the dome of the planetarium which closed I think like 20 years ago and they never figured out what to do with the building. Okay, so there's the Planetarium and the Royal Ontario Museum. We're just going to loop around here at Bloor Street and go southbound. And when you're going southbound, you're actually... When you're going southbound, you're actually on a decline, so you don't have to pedal as much, because as you go towards the lake shore, it's more of a decline. It's more of the University of Toronto again, or the Royal Ontario Museum. Okay, we're just on the Queen's Park Circle again, going around the Parliament. Okay, this I believe is Trinity College. Okay, we're on Hoskin Avenue, so this is Trinity College. So this is actually a chapel and it does say that there are service times in here. So I guess it is open to the public during service times. Just going to cross the road there, so there's more architecture here. I did actually go to the University of Toronto but not to this campus, so I've never had classes anywhere in here. We're in King's College Circle and I have no idea what this is. Like why all the grounds are closed off, why all the trees are boarded off. What the hell is this? This is 
convocation hall where you come for your graduation. Oh, it would have been a nice span of King's College Circle. I was going to sit here and have my lunch, but I guess that won't be the case. Well, the UFO landed there. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to head down to College Street then. Okay, so that's the end of my University Avenue, Queens Park and University of Toronto campus bike tour. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe to my channel, check out my other channel videos. And we'll be back in part two where I'll be biking down Bloor Street.